I would keep, what is that, seven? Uh, yeah, that's seven. <laughs> okay. Now we're on eight. I would keep, um, I would keep Sam Raimi's Army of Darkness. A lot of people say Evil Dead 2. I'm not one of those people. Do you still own DVDs and Blu-rays? Not only do I still own DVDs and Blu-rays, but I buy them uh, constantly and uh, it can be a little bit of a, uh, cause a little bit of friction with my wife's <laughs> because if we go into a record store or a DVD or any place where they sell Blu-rays and DVDs, I'm gonna come out with at least a dozen. Because, and the reason is because I think, and, and actually I know, and I'm not the only person who, who feels this way, that physical media is gonna go away in, in, a, in a big way. That Blu-rays are going to be, I think the last high definition, or, or I guess they have like ultra high def Blu-rays now, but this is really gonna be the last piece of physical media for movies that we own. So I'm buying as many as I can. And I love, you know, love film and television. I have, oh God, hundreds of Blu-rays and DVDs in my collection, everything. And yeah, I just feel like there's, you know, it, it's it's interesting because I think for like a, like a filmmaker or like a writer or an actor, or, you know, we use them, I use them to like reference. Like if I've got an idea for a scene or for a piece of dialogue or for a camera move, I'm like, what movie have I seen that in? Oh gosh, I remember they did this really cool dolly shot in this movie. I go to my collection, I grab it, I put it on, I watch that part and I'm like, oh yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. And then I'll, I'll do a shot list. Usually, I, I do a lot of this even before like making something. Like I watch a lot of my favorite films just so that sort of like filmic, sort of like visual language gets just quickly imprinted and it's, it's very, um, very fresh in my mind. But yeah, I love Blu-rays and DVDs. I always buy them. I buy them as often as I can. What if the technology that you have to play them on, now you've got this physical media, <laughs> it breaks down? Yeah. Is there an obscure shop somewhere that there's going to be a guy that knows how to fix it? What if that goes away? I think there is. I'll learn how to fix it myself. I'll really, no, I'm kidding. But, um, I, you know, I think um, that could happen. I mean, it, it, you know, like who knows how to work a VCR anymore? You know, how to fix one? I don't. But I'm sure there's somebody out there that, that's good at stuff like that, that, that can do it. But um, yeah, I, I just feel like it's so important to hang on to, it, for me at least, the physical media. Because I do also own some films as like digital copies, you know, that we have on the cloud or whatever. But I'm always so nervous of those. Like, um, I think it's more likely that something might happen and those get deleted as opposed to my physical media, which is like a tangible disc that I can hold in my hand. So yeah, I, I love it. And it's never going to go away for me. It's never going to go away. Like I, um, I'm going to keep on buying Blu-rays until they just stop making them. How do you have it organized? I, you know, I don't have it organized. I do have it organized by um, Blu-rays and DVDs. And I try not to as best I can because I have a lot. And it is kind of like a, a problem for me. Like I said, whenever I go anywhere, and if they sell Blu-rays or DVDs, I'm gonna get some. But uh, I try not to buy things that I have on DVD again on Blu-ray, even though I might want to, because there has to be some point that I cut myself off. Otherwise, I'm just gonna buy all these movies that I already own. So I try try not to do that. There's There are quite a few that I, I do own both, um, but I do have them organized by DVDs and I have my Blu-rays and, th but that's it. Like I don't get into alphabetizing or um, doing it by genre. That's too much, that's a little too much work for me and I, I don't have that much time. Um, even in the pandemic, I didn't do that, but. Boy, I, I watched 
I watched them a lot. And it, like every, you know, every like on a Friday night, like we'll just, I'll pull like a stack of like, I don't know, 10 and probably watch about half of them. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let's say you were only allowed to keep 10 movies. Oh. What 10 would you keep? Oof, if I was only allowed to keep 10 movies out of my Blu-ray or DVD collection, I would keep, I would keep probably all my, oh man, that's tough. I would keep, oh gosh, oh man, that's so hard because, you know, there's comedies that I love watching, but like, like maybe I would keep like my favorites. Um, I would keep, okay. I would keep, um, here we go, I can do it. Top top 10 that Blu-rays or DVDs I would keep. I would keep, um, I would keep Wes Anderson's Rushmore. I would keep that. I would keep um, Paul Thomas Anderson's Boogie Nights. I would keep um, Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver. I would keep um, I would keep Mike Nichols, The Graduate. I would keep Oliver Stone's Wall Street. I would keep Michael Mann's Last of the Mohicans. I would keep James Cameron's Terminator 2. I would keep, what is that, seven? Uh, yeah, that's seven. <laughs> okay. now we're on eight. I would keep, uh -huh. um, I would keep Sam Raimi's Army of Darkness. A lot of people say Evil Dead 2. I'm not one of those people. Um, I would keep, what is that, eight? Uh, now you're on nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, that was nine or this is nine? This oh, is this nine. is nine. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I would mm -hmm. keep, oh man. You got two more. I know. Oh. I would keep um, Alexander Payne sideways and maybe something, something different. Um, there's a movie that I loved. It's not super popular. I don't, not, not too many people maybe have heard of it or have seen it yet, but um, he's a he's an actor filmmaker. His name is Richard Ayuade, and he made a movie called Submarine. And I just it's it's probably the most recent movie in that list that I would keep. But I just loved it, so I would keep Submarine. Those are my ten. Is that it's like a one location film? Or? No, no, oh. it's a it's a really wonderful story about kind of a teenage outcast or a teenage sort of a, a kind of a awkward kid in high school who, you know, it's sort of like a high school romance love story, just about this kind of offbeat, quirky kid who's kind of sort of trying to find himself and dealing with issues with his parents, but he he's also dealing with this this girl that he really likes who's who's sort of like kind of like a little um I mean she's just very like sort of like mischievous and sort of like really like um kind of like cocky and and just really like um kind of dangerous for him, you know, not not like him. Um he's sort of more of a uh uh kind of kind of quiet kid um but it's just it's it's made with such great visuals and just so much personality and such great music um it, it, i think it's like one of those movies that just like to me it's like explodes off the screen just i like from the first moment it was on i was like oh i love this so that's that's my number 10. do you still have vhs Tape no, time. I don't. I got rid of my VHS. I I used to have a, I used to have a ton. Even when I was a little boy, I loved collecting VHS movies. Even before I became an actor, I mean, I really, you know, I've always loved films and television. So, no, no VHS, no no VCR. Yeah, I don't know if I would even really enjoy watching them because I think I've gotten so used to the high def Blu-ray quality. That we, I, I think any of us, you know, anybody, any filmmakers out there watching this, I don't know if I would really enjoy going back and watching those, but yeah, I got rid of them. I do. I have a lot. I feel very strongly that like we really do need, if, you, if people have them, they should really hang on to them because 
as we see it now, you know, studios are releasing stuff exclusively on Netflix or exclusively on Amazon Prime or exclusively on Hulu or whatever it is. And I just don't think those films are going to get a Blu-ray copy. I don't think they're going to get a physical copy. So I really do think that people should, if they, you know, I think they should really hang on to their collections because I, I think this is going to be it. And what's the most you've ever paid? I remember paying $90 for a DVD really? back in the day. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I had to order it on Amazon. This wow. was back. Oh my gosh. No, I've never paid that. It was a long time ago, yeah. but I, I really wanted it. And... What's the most you ever paid? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> I think I've bought like very, you know, fancy packaging. Um, the most I've ever paid for something is probably ah, for a single DVD or Blu-ray. I don't know, maybe fifty dollars or something like that. Okay, but like that's for like a limited edition, you know, fancy box set, whatever. But um, but yeah, it's always money well spent. I think spending money on DVDs and Blu-rays is totally fine because, <laughs> uh, because you know, it's, it's something that you're gonna have forever and it's gonna bring you so much joy. You can watch it time and time again. If you're making something, you can always go back and reference it if there's something you really loved. Um, I just think it's, it's just totally worth it to me. And um, yeah, you'll have to ask Sarah about that or my wife about that. Because, uh, yeah, I spend, you know, I spend, a lot, <laughs> spend a lot of money on Blu-rays, but I think it's okay. <laughs>